Hello there beautiful people. Today I am taking a look at the Eddie Funkhauser Lux Light Revitalizing Foundation in Golden Dark and it is 32 milliliters or 1.08 fluid ounces and it's made by Eddie Funkhauser. It's a luminous liquid foundation, gives skin a flawless but natural look, and vitamin E nourishes. One thing I don't like about it is it does not contain any SPF, but it has good coverage, but it's not a cake, cakey setting foundation. It's moisturizing, it's it's moisturizing, it has a lot of moisturizing properties to it. It it I actually bought it because I'm usually really fair, but this summer I've somehow developed a really great tan and the BB cream that I was using on my face did not work any longer it just would make me look like a ghost so I found this I thought I would try it out and I tried it in the darkest shade which is the golden dark it's a little mess it's a little messy getting it out I don't know why the tube is slick either but this is what it looks like so see how it has a nice coverage, but it's not cakey, it's moisturizing, and it's light on the skin, that which I really like. You can put a primer underneath that makes it kind of dewy, and but this, this mascara itself is kind of dewy. I like the dewy look over very matte look. I think it's prettier, it makes you look younger. This is what the Eddie Funkhauser, which I think is a funny, really, really funny name, Lux Light Revitalizing Foundation in Golden Dark. It's 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. It's actually made in Italy. So this is something I found that was new, but I needed a new mask, uh, the, foundation because my skin has gotten so dark from tanning. I live in Los Angeles and I guess I've just been getting a little too much California sun. So yeah, so the Eddie Funkhauser foundation, I usually tend to use BB creams because that's what I've found is moisturizing and looks really nice and dewy and young and fresh faced. But I decided to try a foundation and the reason I tried this one is because it's light and dewy and very moisturizing. And I really, really enjoy it. The price point is not super high for, for a foundation. It's a pretty good deal and yeah I I think uh, if you give it a try you'll like it it's uh, definitely good good foundation to add to your arsenal as I have many and I often stop into makeup stores and ask for samples of foundation and uh, try those out. So I always have something new to try out and see what I like. And that's kind of what you have to do. You have to look around, try different things, see how they work on you and how they look on you. This one, like I, had, like I said, I had to buy the darkest one because of my tan, but it actually blends in nicely, makes my skin moisturize, and if I use it with a primer, there's a Chanel primer that makes your face look really nice and dewy. There's also a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer that makes your face look nice and dewy. 
you can wear under your foundation and yeah I actually I wore this the other day to the dentist and he said to my husband I hope you're taking her out to dinner somewhere nice because she looks very beautiful so that was very sweet of him so yeah the Eddie Funkhauser Lux Light Revitalizing Foundation in Golden Dark, made in Italy. Give it a try. Like I say, don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. And thanks so much for watching.